to tonight's session, all right, we have our special invited speakers, my member, okay, YMG, Jimin. Okay, he is an author and coach. He is a martial arts me certified executive coach. Okay, and an, an accredited Vistage Singapore chair. He coaches top business owners, CEOs in Singapore, all right, assisting them, giving them advice, okay, on how, on how to run their business better, more efficient, okay, and also in the area of leadership. He has access to a network of more than 5,000 expert coaches and consultants globally. So apart from that, being a coach, Jimin is also a co-author of three books. Okay, so one of the latest book he wrote is about put the magic back into the business. All right, to, to share with his audience, okay, how to run, how to run a business in a more efficient and effective manner. Lastly, Jimmy also serves as president of Association of Singapore Professional Speakers, ASPS, and he is also an independent director and member of the Singapore Institute of Directors. So without further ado, all right, let's give Jimmy a round of applause and Jimmy a round of applause. Okay, thank you for sharing us on how to publish a book in less than hundred bucks and boost your business. Okay, sharing, Jimmy, to you. Okay, very good evening to all YMG members and guests, and thank you, Sean, for inviting me to give a, a, a talk on this topic. Uh, I'm curious to know more about your relationship with books, uh, with uh, the audience relationship with books. I'm not referring to textbooks, of course. Uh, textbooks, I'm sure you know where we have uh, returned the textbooks to. Okay, I've opened the curtain to the presentation. Now, I wanted to find out, have you all written a book? You just need to uh, write yes or no in the chat box. It's okay, you have a few seconds, just write yes or no. If uh, you are thinking of it, that means you have not done it, just put no. If you have done it, just put yes. I just want to have an understanding. More about uh, my background, so you know that uh, where, why I come to write books, uh, uh, what has it got to do with uh, my professional background. So for many years, about 30 years, uh, I've been working as a real estate uh, employee uh, in the many projects. Uh, some of the projects I did was like uh, Marina Bay Sands, Bukit Junction in Singapore. Kedip uh, Parakuan in Penang and uh, Jakarta Garden City in Indonesia. And uh, this work involved uh, things like planning, development, management, leasing, or shopping malls and real estate developments. So that was my employee side of uh, the work, my career. As a business owner, on the right side, you can see that I focus on real estate and technology space. So Twin Lakes is my company in Malaysia. Uh, we have a division that uh, provides uh, disinfection services to buildings and also uh, provides thermal scanners so on. That is from my Malaysian side with a business partner there. Uh, Energy Box is an Internet of Things and Data Analytics company, and I'm assisting them to source for business in Singapore and Malaysia. And having experience uh, both uh, being an employee and as well as a business owner, I felt that the most important ingredient for success is the human factor, uh, especially leadership development at all levels. So I got myself certified as a Marshall Goldsmith Executive Coach to help executives improve their leadership performance. As a Vistage Chair, I help CEOs and business owners make better decisions. And also leaders need to communicate with their team effectively. So uh, me being president of the ASPS, uh, we aim to bridge the gap from speaking for free on behalf of your organization to charging a fee when you speak professionally on your own behalf. So there's a big difference. So uh, there's uh, some of my work, some of my bio. So let's go on to the presentation proper. Now, what are the benefits of uh, publishing your book? How does it benefit you? I will share with you how becoming author has helped me in my business and career. Now, well, firstly, being a published author uh, lends you some credibility. You are the person who wrote the book in your field or niche. As you get more and more media coverage, your media appearances will add to your reputation. So, and this provides, uh, this coverage is quite positive. If it's positive, then it's good publicity for your business. So, uh, and, uh, 
Branding, author branding, the branding for yourself is very important. Uh, this uh, is uh, my first book. Uh, publishing is a great way to attract clients uh, to your business. I published this book back in the 2005. Uh, this is on the mystery shopping. I wrote this book because I wanted to establish my credibility in the customer service uh, audit business which I then started with my core authors. So my books were sold uh, in the major bookstores in Singapore. Of course, those were days when uh, people still visited bookstores to buy books. <laughs> uh, and I delivered some paid workshops to participants in Singapore and Malaysia. Each workshop was uh, for about half a day and would attract 20 to 30 people. It was quite new then. 15 years ago, this was something new and the participants were keen to know more. And so my company is also engaged by clients in various industries to do mystery shopping on this. Uh, now there are many companies that does that. So it's not just attracting clients uh, for your business. So for example, when I was interviewed for a job previously, uh, there were a number of candidates uh, applying for the same job. So I was one of them. And uh, toward the end of the interview, I would I put out two copies of my book and pass it to the interviewers. So they were quite impressed and I got the job. Uh, it's not because uh, the other people were not qualified. They were all very qualified. But I was the only one who had written and published a book. So they gave me an age. And then in 2005, I was also interviewed for 15 minutes uh, on 93.8 radio station regarding my book. So there was some publicity and I managed to sell some books and uh, attracted some participants to my workshops. Uh, the publicity even reached the years of my group GM. I was still working full time at the time. Uh, I'm glad to share that I still kept my job after my meeting with him. Now, a book can also be used to express your business philosophy. And uh, it is especially important for a businessman or businesswoman who wants to share his or her legacy. In 2017, I published my second book when I was working in Malaysia. I contributed a chapter to this book known as Stories of Aspiring Entrepreneurs with 12 other authors, each with their own inspiring story to tell. In my chapter, I quoted a verse from William Henley, who wrote, I am the master of my faith. I am the chaplain of my soul. And the late Nelson Mandela, South Africa's president, kept his dreams for South Africa alive by repeatedly reading this verse and William Henley's book during his long years of imprisonment. This verse was written 145 years ago. The words in your book will inspire future generations of people. But it also inspired me that I decided to write the third book. I wanted to write a book on my working experiences. I mean, if I were to write on real people and actual incidents, I mean, some people portrayed me negatively may be upset. So I decided to share my experiences using papers in a fun and engaging way. I also wanted to explore a low-cost and sustainable way of publishing a book. I did not want to pay in advance for printing a few thousand books. I did not want to rent a place to store my unsold books. And I did not want the hassle of queuing at the post office to pack and ship my books. So I decided to go digital and publish an e-book. I created two versions of this book, a Kindle ebook and a paperback version. My book was published in February this year and is listed on Amazon. Uh, these are the five statistics of my book. It is 36 pages, over 9 chapters. You can read in less than 60 minutes and it weighs only 108 grams. The book is not heavy enough to be used as a paperweight. It's not thick enough to be used as a doorstop but it's brief enough to stimulate your imagination, inspire you to take action. I mean, the book is currently ranked 209 in Amazon's one-hour short reads, business and money category. I mean, it's not bad for an unknown author who did not spend anything on marketing. You come to think of it. And you can take action and publish your book on Amazon at this website. 
JDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. You can either use your Kindle, your existing Amazon account, or to access this site, or you can create a new KDP account. You can self-publish your books literally for free in less than 5 minutes. Of course, provided your book contents and layout are ready. And the book will be available for sale within 24 to 48 hours worldwide. In terms of royalty, you can earn 70% royalty on Kindle digital books and up to 60% on paperback books. You control your intellectual property and copyrights and you can potentially reach millions of readers and be known as an international author. Now you can sell your books globally. Uh, there are more than 14 countries where Amazon has their online stores. Uh, there are 14 countries around over 5 continents. And uh, there are also other sites which I listed here, which doesn't belong to Amazon, which they help to distribute. So literally, when you are listed on Amazon, you become a global author, an international author. And uh, you don't need to create your own website to sell your books. Amazon has given me a free author page to add my profile and describe my book. Uh, this page links directly to a shopping cart and payment gateway. So it's very convenient for me. Now, my paperback book is only printed when customers order, even for one single book. So there's no need for me to keep an inventory of books. And everything is handled by Amazon, including printing, shipping, or books anywhere around the world. There are also no shipping costs. If uh, my Kindle digital book can be downloaded instantaneously, and there is no need to wait. And there are no shipping charges to pay too. Now I can read uh, this uh, digital book by downloading Kindle app for free. It is available on all platforms, whether Apple, Android, Mac, or PC platforms. And you don't need to buy any special hardware to re read the Kindle book. In the past, yes, you need to, but now you don't have to. It's free to read. Now, publishing on Amazon, you can really minimize and to cut the cost of publishing. In traditional printing, it costs a lot to publish. You have to print a few thousand copies in advance. You know? So, uh, you can even zero if you do everything yourself. Now, this is a bit of my cost structure as of February 2020. How much did I spend uh, on the publishing this book? In terms of publishing cost, it's a new. Because I use Amazon's uh, tools. In terms of cover design and uh, internal layout, I spent about 50 US dollars to appoint uh, two designers from Fiverr.com. So, including commissions to the platform. If I didn't want to pay this money, I could easily have used Amazon's uh, free cover creator internal layout tools to do it too. Printing cost of the paperback book. If it is more than the 110 pages, the cost is about 85 US cents per book. If it's less than 110 pages, it is about US 215 per book. So in terms of shipping costs, if I will ship from USA to Singapore, it costs uh, about USD 638 per book. But uh, if I order more books, the price drops tremendously. So I order 50 books, physical books, shipped to Singapore. I only need to pay about 205 uh, US dollars per book. Of course, compared to local printing, who needs to print 1,000, 2,000 copies, local printing should be cheaper. But here, I can print one book and pay the kind of price. So I don't have to print 1,000 books, 2,000 books. And how much do I price it for? For my Kindle's uh, ebook, I price it at uh, 399 US dollars. And for my paperback book, I price it at 12 99 excluding uh, shipping costs. So how do I further reduce my cost? There's also editing cost, right? So my co-author, I wrote this book with a co-author. She's an accomplished author herself, and she's an English language teacher. So she helped me write some chapters and edited the book. So I saved money on engaging the editor. Uh, that's how I kept my cost to below $100. Now, all this may seem a bit overwhelming, and uh, if you have not written a book before, 
don't be discouraged. Uh, with the resources we have today and all the platforms available, you can get the book written relatively quickly. Now you can use a ghostwriter. I mean, a ghostwriter is simply a living person who writes your book for a fee. You know, so you don't have to worry. He's not a ghost. He won't come up. He won't jump up. The only difference is that he or she, her name will not appear in your book. Only your name appears on the book because you paid the person to write for you. So that's what a ghostwriter means. Or if you like, if you like to write, you can outsource other aspects of work like design, book formatting, marketing, promotion, and so on. It's up to you. Some of those platforms you probably are familiar with like Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer, but there are many other platforms. They have their respective strengths and uh, price points and appeal to different market segments. Now, what should you write? You can write about anything you like. It can be your hobby, it can be on cooking, children's books, many other types of books. It's really up to you. There are two broad categories. It's the fiction and non-fiction. So of course for uh, these uh, two genres, they are, you have different ways and approaches. So target audience are different, so you approach it differently. So and they require different types, different amounts of research. So non-fiction uh, books are more factual, for example, how to survive a COVID crisis. So these are more factual books. Now, if you want to write a bestseller, a fiction book, you need to craft a compelling story. See? Because the ability to craft a compelling story, the secret behind every bestseller is the ability to create emotion in the reader. So you keep on going back to the book again and again, reading from cover to cover. Of course, if you are writing for your own enjoyment, you can do as you like. Even if you want to write a 10-page book, it's up to you. Mine is 36 pages. Some people write 300 pages. But as I said earlier, I didn't want my book to be a paperweight, nor should it be a doorstop. And uh, if within fiction, there are of course many uh, genres, your fantasy, romance, historical, novel, stuff like this. Many. You, know? you have to build your character. You have to create the very memorable characters. And you have to craft a story, which means that you have to do extensive research for a novel. So it's uh, not as simple as it looks. Harry Potter is uh, uh, a very good book to read, very exciting, but it took a lot of years of effort from the writer. And you have to flesh out the characters, the plot and the settings. But it can also be quite enjoyable. You also need to build the world. Is it a real world, an older world, a different world? So this is just part of the fiction story writing process. There are many, many parts to fiction writing. This is only three aspects. Uh, those other aspects I probably have to reserve it for another talk if I'm invited back by uh, Sean again. <laughs> and, uh, and one thing I would like to, the opinion on another matter though, after you have uh, listened to what I've been speaking now, just like to know, would you like to write your book? Just type in yes or no in your chat box. Yes, I'm happy to see that many of you like to write a book after listening to this presentation. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you very much for your feedback. This QR code I created uh, actually links direct to my Amazon author page. So when you scan, you go straight to the page and you buy it. Of course, the last but not least the benefit of being an author is that I can give away my Kindle digital book. So I'm currently having a promotion from today till Sunday, 2.59 p.m. I'm giving away my Kindle digital book. This book, put the magic back into your business. So if you are interested in the, me sending you this free book, Please text me your name and email to my WhatsApp number you see below and uh, I will forward my digital book to you. This is only for these 5 days. After that, I will charge full price again. So take advantage of this opportunity. Get your free book. Uh, you don't have to pay a second cent. 
as long as they send you the email, the link, once I get your email, your name, I'll send it to you. You can write down, uh, write down my number. Text me at your leisure, uh, but please do me do it within these uh, few days. You can chat also, write in the chat box up to you. Okay, uh, but let me have your full name and your email address. Now, if you wish to find out what I do on Facebook, you can scan this code. Again, I, I got this uh, nifty QR code creator. I, it's very easy to use. I did it within two minutes. So this links to my Facebook page on the, the book's Facebook page. If you want to know what I'm up to, you can use this. Uh, I'll leave you with this quote from Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, successful, talented and fabulous? I tell you now, this is your time to show your brilliance and talent. Go write a book. You don't have to walk alone in this journey. Help is a sad hand. I am starting an author support group to help those who are just starting their journey to write a book. Do text me your interest to join my support group. I created a support group uh, from a talk I gave about two weeks ago, a similar talk, for an author's club in Malaysia. So several joined and uh, I'm glad to share with you that two of them in my group have already submitted their books to Kindle. And uh, they actually have written their books, but they could not find a local printer who were willing to print their books. So I'm happy that uh, after they joined uh, my, my group and also they listened to my presentation, they were inspired to take action and uh, they have submitted a post to Tinder for publication. So you can do it too. Make your dreams come true for less than $100. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Over to you, Sean.